Good afternoon. My name is John Gower, and I will be your narrator today. In the kingdom of Antioch, Antiochus was having an interesting relationship with his daughter, and princes seeking her hand in marriage must answer his riddle correctly or face death. Pericles, prince of Tyre, came to Antioch seeking the princess's hand in marriage. Antiochus gave him the riddle, and Pericles answered it correctly, but it revealed a terrible truth. Which means you and her. Oh, I didn't want to know that. I'm going to go home and vomit now. Hmm, I think my riddle was a bit too on the nose. Fatty art! You know, it's too much. <sniffs> Back in Tyre, Pericles fears that his life is now in danger. Helicanus, his counselor, counsels him. All right, leave the country, wait for this all to blow over, and take this bag of corn. Why the corn? Don't you question my counsel. Take the corn and go! Where is he? You just missed him. Come on, man, that's built. Hey. Pericles arrived in Tarsus, where he met King Cleon and his wife Dionysa, whose kingdom was facing famine on account of them. I wasn't gonna eat that, we're starving. I have this corn. Give us the corn. Then he was called back to Tyre. However, on his way home, he was shipwrecked in Pentopolis. Hey man, did you hear about that jousting tournament for the hand of King Simonides' daughter in marriage? Yeah. What about it? It's happening. So Pericles entered the tournament, won, and hit it off with King Simonides and Thasia. Meanwhile, in Tyre, Helicanus receives pivotal news. Sweet Jove! Helicanus, can you be our king? Pericles can come back now. He'll be your king. Oh, we kind of wanted Helicanus. So Pericles began his journey back to Tyre with his newly wedded wife, who was great with child. However, during a storm, Thasia died giving birth to their daughter, Marina. The shipmaster then insisted that they had to throw Thasia's body overboard to stop the storm. D don't ask me how that adds up. We did it! You made me do all the work! However, when Thasia's body was washed ashore, generous Dr. Saruman made a discovery. She's not dead. Pericles, believing that they won't make the journey home, decided to leave Marina in the care of Cleon and Dionysa in Tarsus. Hey! Is it okay if I leave my daughter here with you? I don't think I'm gonna make the journey back. Go! Cool. But later in life, Dionysa grew jealous of her because she was drawing all the attention away from their real daughter, Leonine. She made plans for Marina to be murdered, but she was captured by pirates and was sold as a prostitute on the island of Lesbos. However, Marina retained her honor by convincing all the men who came to the brothel to leave and lead more virtuous lives, but no refunds. And that's 12 denarii I'm never getting back. Hey, I've come to pick up Marina. Where is she? She's dead. So Pericles fell into a spell of melancholy, refusing to speak to anyone on board. He's been awfully quiet. I know someone he'll talk to. Are you Pericles? Go away. My name's Marina, if that makes a difference. Continue. Well, a bunch of stuff happened to me. That's weird, the same thing happened to a- MARINA! And so they were reunited at last. But later that night, the goddess Diana came to him in a dream and told him to go to Ephesus to tell of his experiences. TO EPHESUS! In Ephesus, Pericles recounted his story at the temple. Yeah, that's weird. That sounds a lot like my husband, Peri- Sweet Jove, that's my husband! <sighs> Is anybody gonna help her? That priestess is your wife. That's crazy. My wife's not a priestess. She died along. She's not dead! And so the entire family was reunited. In conclusion, we have witnessed evil in this story. Incestuous Antiochus was smote by heavenly fire. 
And when the people of Tarsus found out that they were being exploited by Cleon and Dionysa, they burned them both alive in a palace fire. But we have also witnessed good. There was loyal Helicanus and generous Dr. Saruman. And while evil is punished with fire, good was rewarded with... I, I really must take this call. Excuse me. Gower speaking. Yes, I, I did write Apollonia of Tyre. I... Who did what now? Who's William Shakespeare? He changed the name to Pericles? Okay, yes, I do agree. It does make a bit more sense as a title, but still, this is copyright infringement. I... Copyright hasn't been invented yet. So that Shakespeare can do literally anything he wants now. There goes intellectual property. Why write anything at all? Good day. <laughs>